and the Dabrinic channel is back and tonight we are talking about Lake Mead. We are doing a Lake Mead update. We are also going to talk about Lake Powell and we're going to talk about Lake Oroville and in California. We're also going to get to the snowpack in the Colorados and the snowpack in, in California as well. And without further ado, let's roll right over to windy.com like we always do. And check this out. Just the high pressure is dominating. We go to the GFS and you can see nothing changes. This jet stream comes across. It comes up to the mountains, back down. And you got a dominating high pressure here in California, Utah, Nevada, Idaho, Phoenix down below. We have New Mexico and Colorado as well. Wyoming, fairly dry. You have a little bit of precipitation coming here to Colorado and 0.28, not a whole lot. We go to New Snow, that's 1.4, just not a whole lot. Aspen down here, 1.6. Down here, 4.7, that's probably the hot spot here. And then you can see over here by Oroville, 0 inches. So nothing coming here. Tahoe, 0 inches. The whole state of California, all the way except for right here, 0 0.2. Bakersfield down there, hello Bakersfield. And then Los Angeles there, San Diego down below, zero inches. You have very little coming whatsoever. The majority of it, if you live on the East Coast, you are going to get slammed over the next 10 days. There's probably going to be a, a nor'easter coming all the way from Pittsburgh. Check this all the way to Rochester up here and to Montreal and Quebec up here. You, you just got Ottawa's over here, 10.7. Boston, Massachusetts, 1.7. And I bet you there's going to be a lot of rain with that and 1.9 inches. So you can see the heavy spot right through here. And that's the majority of that snow from, from eastern Illinois all the way over to western Ohio. Just not a whole lot of precipitation whatsoever. 0.2. That's going to be dry. You can see this pattern just shit comes down and around and back up. So you may end up getting an or Easter out of this. There's not a whole lot in the next 10. The next five days it starts and then the next 10 days it kicks in. So the west is dry, the east is wet, and that's what you got going on. Let's go check out the snow depth and see what's going on in the Colorados. First we'll go to the snow depth. So if you are a beloved skier here in Colorado, you got a fairly decent snowpack, especially up by Aspen. That's a big ski country, 39 inches down through here, 49 plus inches, Marvel, 43 Crest Butte 41 Glen Springs 27 up here so we scoot in here 44 inches a good little swath we we'll go over to Ville 37 Grand Junction 5.3 Steamboat Springs up here anywhere between 49 to 35 inches just depends where you're at and that is what's going on in the Colorados we scoot over to California we have people down there that love my videos so hello down there down here by Mammoth Lakes 35 inches Yosemite Valley 46 inches Bear Valley 36 inches we go over to South Tahoe 26 inches Tahoe City 26 inches all the way down here 31 inches Indian Village 27 Carson City 9.5 Johnson Lane 10.1 Minden 15 Truckee 31.7 I think I pronounced that right 44 through here you get over here by Lake Orville's watershed you have East Quincy over here 34 Caribou 25.1 Sterling City over here 8.7 and the snow lines right by Big Ben 0.5 and that is what is going on there we go up to Shasta up here and see what's going on there Mount Shasta 2.5 weed 19.9 over here 30 inches and over here 37.5 and that is what's going on let's go check out the snowpack in california as far as your percentages go so this has come down this was at 31 the other day it's at 127 percent so it continues to fall as it will as it's dry and this was at 131 the other day and now it's at 130 this was at 138 and now it's at 133 so everything continues to fall as the sun's baking it away and it's gassing off your percentages come down this is at 60 58 let's go to lake oroville and see if they fire Fired the power plant back up. It was at two the other day. Bolson was at 60% full the other day, and now it is down to 57% full as they continue to let water out. And they're continuing to let more water out than it's coming in. Your current water level is 424.02 feet MSL, and they are letting 5,412 CFS out, and the lake's only receiving 3,000. 
313 in. So there you have that. Lake Oroville's percentage of capacity is 43%. They have increased this. This is 581. It was at two the other day. So they have a little over 5,900 and change coming in. We go up to Shasta here. Shasta's at 33%. 2,937 CFS going out and 10,109 coming in. So their inflows have increased here. Let's go see where these water levels currently are in comparison. Lake Shasta water level is currently 926.72 feet Wednesday, January 12th, 2022 at 2 p.m. Level is 140.28 feet below full pool of 1,067 and this thing has increased 0.63 feet in the last 24 hours. Let's roll down to Lake Oroville and see what's going on down there. So on October October 22nd, Lake Orville was at 630.53. Today, it's at 731.77 feet. Wednesday, January 12, 2022 at 3 p.m., the level is 168.23 feet below full pool of 900, and this thing has increased 1.11 feet. So there you have it. The lake has officially come up over the 100-foot mark. Congratulations. They finally got it there. It's higher than it ever was last year. So you, we have that going for us. 2021, the highest it got was 730, right on the nose. On April 23rd, it got at 730, so this thing will surpass that. Will it be 2019? That's to be determined. We will definitely be watching that very carefully. Let's roll over to Lake Powell and see what's going on at Lake Powell. Here we are at Lake Powell. The water level is 3,535.25 feet, MSL. Tuesday, January 11, 12 a.m., the level is 164.75 feet below full pool of 3,700. It has dropped 0 0.19 feet. So let's roll down to Lake Mead and see how much that has increased. Lake Mead water level, 1,066.85 feet msl wednesday january 12 4 p.m the level is 162.15 feet below full pool of 1229 the changes since yesterday 0 0.03 this thing rises this time of year so this is to be expected it's not rising dramatically so we'll see what ultimately happens this year thank you guys for stopping by it's been another great night at the debrinic channel and we appreciate everybody that stops by and watches the videos please like share and comment below and we will see you soon on the Dobrynik channel. God bless.